Hey guys and welcome to part two. In part one we did our low poly and in this video we're going to do our high, high poly uh, X and we're going to export that, okay? Okay guys, well in part one we completed our low poly and we added a color ID map or a mask to it uh, so we can use that later on in Substance Painter. And in this video we're going to create the high poly. Now keep in mind that technically I don't have to because uh, I'm not going to be sculpting any detail into the high poly that I want to transfer onto the low poly uh, using a uh, normal map but I want to show you the process anyway just in case you want to do that now I will be adding detail in a substance painter uh, scratches dents maybe some stencils and so forth so that's why it's important that you see that uh, flow okay so what I want to do is uh, I want to just take this as a copy so hit control D to copy it W to move it over and I'm just gonna get rid of this for a second, okay? And I'm gonna go in and assign a new material and we're just gonna do a default Lambert for the simple reason that we can clearly see a difference between the high and the low poly, all right? Okay, so a couple of things I wanna do here. Once I um, start to preview smooth this, you will see where it will deform and I'll show you. I'll just hit three on my keyboard. And as I do that, you see that certain elements are maybe smooth too much or in areas where I don't want it to be. So what I'm gonna do is hit want to go back and I'm gonna go in and add some edge loops here and there to avoid that of happening, okay? So I'm gonna go to edit mesh, uh, sorry, mesh tools, enter the edge loop, option box, single setting, and let's go in and start, okay? So I wanna add one up here to hold that shape, one down here, and we'll go in and we'll do one here as well, like so. We'll go down to the bottom here. Let's do one right there. And for the most part, that covers our handle, so that's all good, okay? Now, what I want is to keep these points on the top and the bottom, so I'm gonna go in and I'll do one right there and then I'll go down to the bottom here and I'll do one right there and then let's see let's look at the end piece here we'll do one right here which will cover the bottom as well and then we'll go in and put one in right there okay Q on our keyboard right click object mode hit three to preview smooth. Now, as you can see, these points are in, uh, in place, both ends, that's fine. And um, instead of preview, I'm gonna hit one to go back, and I'm gonna go into mesh and smooth, and let's actually smooth this out, okay? I'm gonna choose the subdivision level, let's go with uh, two, that should be fine. And you can see it looks nice and smooth, all right. So this is it. Um, I already UV'd the low poly, uh, really important. Without a UV'd low poly, you can't do anything in Substance Painter. But I'm not gonna cover that in this video as that is, I would say, basic knowledge. And if you don't know how to do that, I will put a link below to 30 plus videos on UV mapping, okay? So I'm gonna save this out. I'm gonna go to File and uh, let's see, Export My Model. Export selection, where did he go? Right there. Okay, I'm gonna export it as an OBJ, export selection, and I'm gonna overwrite, I did a test, so I'm gonna overwrite that, but you won't have this, so there you go. And uh, with that in place, we can now go in and start working on our textures in Substance Painter, okay? Here we go. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.